so glad I've got this ute. It's definitely not a practical trade vehicle. I think it's just marketed to improve my masculinity. <laughs> To be honest, it's all about lifestyle and status. These wheel bros, they make me feel more masculine. Couldn't do this with a Nissan Leaf. Four times four, four times more manly. Two wheel girls, two times the <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's enough manliness. Let's go and parallel park this thing and get a coffee. <laughs> The thing with this U is it's great for squeezing into tight spots. It makes me feel like so much more of a man when I find the tightest park possible and I just pop it right in. This park's not manly enough. <laughs> Let's go and double park across two lines. That's better, that's what a real U donor does. Man, these guys do a good coffee. Yo, so, um, I don't know if you've seen, but in the news lately, there's been a bit of a uproar about U owners. We're just dirty, filthy, smog producing, diesel munching bad guys, pretty much. But we're manly, so who cares? Nah, just kidding. And in all honesty, I actually do care about the environment. I think I even made a video about my thoughts on the environment. And I don't love that construction as a large contributor to waste here in New Zealand. When you make comments like that, the danger is that you kind of like isolate people rather than working together, you end up pitting people against each other. Right, that's enough manliness for one day. I mean, it's not like I use this for diggers and scaffold and big rubbish runs. Oh, actually, sorry, we don't do rubbish. Recycling runs to the landfill. In all seriousness, I would totally consider an electric ute if they were available and up to the job. I do genuinely want to do my bit for the environment. 